In 1947, the Commission on Freedom of the Press published their report. And the Commission also had a different name, the Hutchins Commission, after its chairman Robert Hutchins, a well-respected scholar and the president of the University of Chicago. Hutchins selected 11 respected scholars and professionals, and with them debated the issue of media governance, the fourth estate model, and what it meant for the freedom of the press and the media system in general. And in 1947, the Commission on Freedom of the Press published their landmark report, A Free and Responsible Press. And you will realize that the atrocities of the Holocaust had just been revealed, and the public's opinion of the media landscape, and the press in particular, was quite negative and suspicious. It had become clear for the general audience how widespread the lies and propaganda spread by the mainstream media had been in many countries. And many turned a critical eye even towards their own country's journalists, movie makers and publishers. The report advocated a different view on the fourth estate model and criticized the complete freedom that media organizations had enjoyed. The introduction of the report stated, the Commission set out to answer the question, is the freedom of the press in danger? And its answer to the question is yes. It concludes that the freedom of the press is in danger for three reasons. First, the importance of the press to the people has greatly increased with the development of the press as an instrument of mass communication. And at the same time, the development of the press as an instrument of mass communication has greatly decreased the proportion of the people who can express their opinions and ideas through the press. Secondly, the few who are able to use the machinery of the press as an instrument of mass communication have not provided a service adequate to the needs of society. And third, those who direct the machinery of the press have engaged from time to time in practices which the society condemns and which, if continued, it will inevitably undertake to regulate or control. So the report agreed with the premise of the fourth estate ideal, that the media could serve as a much needed check on powerful politicians, governments and companies. However, Hutchins and his colleagues stressed that the guiding principle of freedom did not guarantee this outcome. In fact, many examples had shown that this freedom had led media professionals to misuse their power themselves. And therefore, the Commission proposed a new guiding principle responsibility to society. And this social responsibility model, as it would be known, will become the dominant ethical guideline for media governance in the world. The model was a great leap from the old free media model. It allowed for government interference, but preferred a professional system of codes of ethics and commissions of peers to judge over ethical matters. And although this model received much criticism at first from within the media system itself, it quickly became the dominant model of media governance in many countries. And the model itself evolved as more and more scholars, professionals and politicians started working with it.